Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So they've got these new uh, speakers. They're, they, they're, they're apparently are powered somehow by waves. And I don't understand because I thought all sound was somehow related to waves. So what, what do we glean from this? So a waveguide speaker is also what's called a folded horn speaker. Hmm. Um, if you ever saw an old phonograph, you the get, one that the with the mm -hmm. those could delete. I don't know the name of what that was, but I, I, I have the, the folded horn. Oh, okay, <laughs> well the folded horn. I've seen those. So the idea is that you have a very small speaker that works on the same tradition as a regular traditional driver speaker, but that it gains amplification through the waveguide, and what happens is that the wave channel resonates and the sound builds and that you've got more volume of air being affected by that tiny speaker. Um, you see small variations of this with like the subwoofer tubes, you know, that are, you know, a tube attached to a subwoofer, that's doing the same thing. You're wave guiding, and so not just the speaker is resonating, but all of that wave guide along it is. And a well-shaped folded horn or wave guide amplifies that sound many times, and because you've got more surface area resonating, you get a small amount of that reverb that makes the sound sound rich. So you get this warmer sounding, richer music out of less power and a smaller speaker. And for the most part, that's a good thing. Very good for mid-range, again, kind of like subwoofers, they're not good for thumping, but for a desktop radio like the Bose Wave, Bose wave. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Um, it works very nicely. So it's you know? not a gimmick. It's it's not a gimmick. It's a real thing. And it's just an old thing that was re-brought back with good marketing. Everything old is new again. Yep. yep. It's usually the way it goes.